Good morning and welcome to Bout of Books 31. Welcome back and welcome to another Bout of Books Readathon vlog. This is Bout of Books 31. Can you believe it? Um, the Bout of Books that's going on in August is going to be their 10th anniversary and I'm really not sure if I'm going to be able to take part. I'm a little bit like oh I need to try and make it happen but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. However this is going to be my reading vlog. I will tell you about what I'm reading. You will come and spend the week with me. Um, in the description box you will find all of my social links where I did do one out of seven Instagram challenges for Battle Books Week um, but you know I try. I try. Um, you will also find a link to the Battle Books website if you are interested in taking part in this readathon in August. I was an expert for this Battle Books again, so I hosted some Twitter sprints and I will leave a link to the live reading sprints that I did here on this channel because they're totally usable afterwards. I will give you a 10 minute, a 20 minute and a 15 minute reading sprint. So if you want to make that happen, I will leave a link to that above. And um, without further ado, let's see what I read this week. Didn't really sleep an awful lot last night, but that does mean that I have already started reading, which is great. I have begun reading The Getaway by Isabel Broom, which um, isn't officially yet on my TBR for this week because I have not officially made my TBR for this week. The main two books that I know I'm going to be reading this week are The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn because it comes out onto Netflix on Friday. So that one I will definitely be listening to on audiobook. I will also definitely be listening to the new Jennifer Weiner because that comes out tomorrow. So I've got a hole in that on my library. I'm gonna see if it comes on script. If neither of those things sort of work out in a timely fashion, my tomorrow is quite busy. So we've, we've, we'll give it 24 hours. If not, I have two Audible credits so I could buy it on Audible. Um, so those are the two I'll definitely be reading this week. I also, now I've already started The Getaway, will be reading that one. And I have a few audiobooks um, that I've got from the library. Um, I've got one holdover from April's reading because we know how that went. Um, so those are possibilities as well. Um, but now I was reading on my phone, so I'm gonna switch over to my Kindle and sync that up so that I can read that during this morning's reading sprint. This week, I feel like we're going to see every season here in Colorado. Um, oh, it's not opening on my Kindle at all. That's good, isn't it? Um, oh, now it's opening. Oh, you got to love Kindle, so I'm at 11%. But yeah, here in Colorado, I feel like we're gonna see every season. At the moment, it's gray and drizzly and six degrees, so not too cold, which is nice. Um, but tomorrow we've got snow forecast and it's going to get down to like zero. And then, uh, as we head towards the weekend, um, we're getting up into the, for those of you that can translate this, the like high seventies, low eighties, like the way I'm talking in centigrade, the first half of that sentence and Fahrenheit in the second half, it's just, I've, yeah, I know what the decades of the Fahrenheit's roughly feel like, but in terms of like the actual temperature, I always still think of it in centigrade, five years on. So yeah, we have a reading sprint from eight till 8.30. Then I'm gonna have some breakfast. We'll probably switch to audiobook at that point, but I'm gonna do Kindle for the reading sprint. Um, but yeah, probably switch to audiobook over breakfast as I'm getting ready. And then I'm um, gonna read three picture books this morning. So I'm doing my first time going back into a caregiver's home for Begin With Books for my library volunteering. So that's very exciting. Now we're both fully vaccinated. Um, so looking forward to reading to kids in person again. It's been far too long since I did that as a like volunteer for the library. Um, so yeah, I'm sure this was very rambly, but I'm very tired. Uh, however, 11% of a book already is a, a win in my book. So um, yeah, let's see how we get on in this reading sprint. Okay, 
I read 9% in that sprint, which given that it is a 400 page book, equates to 36 pages, so that's pretty good. I'm finding it very compelling, which is good, so I'm at exactly 20%, um, which I think is a great start to the day. We are starting off strong, and I feel a little bit more awake, awake enough to have some breakfast, um, but I do need another cup of coffee, so let's go and do that, and, uh, Maybe I'll, I'll check back in with you again once I'm actually dressed. We had a bit of a change of plans this morning. I didn't end up doing um, story time at 10.30. I'm now doing it at 3.30. Uh, so I'm going to do this sprint from 2 till 2.30 and then um, head out to that. Um, need to drop something off at the post office. I've had like three phone calls, had lunch. Um, I am just about at the halfway point of Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend by Jenny Colgan, which is the audiobook I decided to go with. I was very like, oh, I don't know which one to pick up. I feel like nonfiction, but I don't know. And since that was on a layover from April, I went with that. But we're starting this sprint on 20%. I will check back in and tell you where I get to. So I read another 9% in that sprint. Very appropriate, very consistent. But I did get to the end of part one and it kind of like revealed a little something at the end of part one. So I'm kind of excited to get back to that when I read again later. But heading out in the car just now, so I'll be putting putting on up now, the audiobook. Um, but yeah, big revelation at the end of part one. And we got to meet a cat as well, so that's the whole thing. But yeah, heading out now, we'll read some picture books. I might take you with me, but it's exceedingly rainy out there, so it's unlikely. Uh, so I'll catch up with you again in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm now at 29%. So the chilli I did earlier is just reheating up, ready for dinner. Um, this is the dismal weather situation, but look how green. It's so refreshing to have things be green, especially in like May as well. So I will take this rain, it's delicious. So I've been listening to some more of Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend in the gym. I have like two and a half hours left, but I'm listening on two and a half speeds. So I'm thinking I might finish that tonight. I'm gonna go back up to the apartment shower and then I'll check back in with you. I did take part in most of the Twitter chat um, but I didn't do the last sprint of the day so I've done two out of three reading sprints and I've done today's Instagram challenge. And it is now snowing. So I just finished listening to Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. You know how in April I listened to two out of the three Jenny Colgan books that I had and I wasn't terribly impressed with either of them. Well, I really quite enjoyed this one. It was very easy listening. There was nothing particularly objectionable about it. Um, I liked the kind of like riches to rags, you know, entitled girl comes good plot um i like that one and so it's like why didn't i squeeze this in in april it would have kind of helped redeem my little jenny colgan uh, that I had um so it is still snowing um i don't know why i had to look at my watch then i don't know what i was going to tell you apart from it's still snowing so a little bit chilly so i'm going to make a cup of tea i'm going to put in the stats for today's update and then I'm going to take that cup of tea and my ebook and go to bed because as you know I did not sleep last night so I'm hoping to sleep tomorrow. Um, we've got bits and bobs on tomorrow. It's definitely going to be a less reading day but I'm really pleased that I finished time with your girl's best friend because uh, that means I am one for one which is doing seven in seven. It's a good start. It's a good start. Someone on Twitter described the snow as passive aggressive or like yeah, I can see why. <laughs> so 
it all together. That was 480 pages and one complete book finished. I feel like I normally do slightly better on day one, but my beginning of the week is a lot busier than my end of the week. So, and as well, I don't know, like, I say this, but I get on okay with the January reading. It was just, it was cold <laughs> and wet and like, not great. And I feel like if I can sort of sit outside and uh, do some reading. So I'm just putting my link onto the Bark Books website. Um, that might be easier. I think that's a bit of a lie. Just need to go and comment on other people that have put their updates up. Um, and then I have pull at 10 and a thing at two. Um, and so we're gonna do some audiobook today, but um, Aside from reading, I got a lot of other stuff done yesterday, so I'm fine with that. Just syncing my Kindle, because I read on the phone in bed last night. I definitely read to the end of the chapter, so I don't know why. It's not on the end of the chapter, there we go. Um, and yes, I am under a blanket, because it is two degrees and snowy. So, uh, yeah, happy May, everyone. Let's spring. We are headed out just now, so I'm about to put on stories to make you smile on audiobook. I have listened to three stories so far. Jenny and Claire and Veronica Henry really made me laugh, so that was funny. Um, so we'll see who the next one is, and I will keep you updated. I will not be taking part in the second or probably third reading sprint. However, I am planning on getting in the bath later tonight, so we'll probably read some more ebook then, but I am at exactly 50%, so that's cool. So I have just had some lunch and I've been, start, well, started listening to When the Grass is Green and the Girls Are Pretty because I got a um, review copy on the Penguin uh, Random House app and um, I didn't realise it also covers, I don't read synopsis of auto by authors apparently, but I didn't realise it also covers college admissions scandal stuff, but like this is post-college admissions scandal, new scandal. Um, it is no longer snowing, but it is incredibly like dull and rainy and just that sky, not so nice. And of course I managed to um, spill lunch on my top as well. I've worn this top twice and both times I've spilt on it. So it's apparently, it's one of those tops. We've all got those tops, right? Let, let me know in the comments. I'm not the only one that has certain tops that I know if I wear that top, I'm gonna spill on it. This, I'm not the only one, right? However, Grass is Green and Girls Are Pretty is excellent so far. I'm really enjoying it. I love the fact that so many of Lauren Weisberger's novels are set like in and around Manhattan and you get those like society that I could never access in Manhattan. Um, and so, yeah, it's very good. But um, I've got about five minutes five minutes before my next thing. So I will um, listen to five more minutes, which will equal 10 more minutes. And I will be, that will take me to just about an hour and a half into the novel, so it's pretty good. It's uh, 11 hours, I think. Not bad. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am running late for this morning's reading sprint right now and we're going to do that and then we're going to run out the door and then we'll be back uh, and then we shall, uh, not sure what's happening after that, uh, I will check back in with you but right now we're going to read this bad boy, I need to sync it up because I was reading on my phone last night. So we're starting at 60%, we'll see how we get on with a, what is now a 25 minute reading sprint.
Oh my goodness, busy morning. Sorry, I checked in and checked out. So I couldn't do the full half hour this morning. I was late to start it and I needed to leave about five minutes. So um, I ended up with a 20 minute reading sprint this morning where I read 5%. So that seems about right. Um, and I'm happy because I'm now at 65% of my ebook. Um, I am sort of in and out quite a bit today. I think I alluded to that. So I am out just now and then I'm going to pick up breakfast and go back and then I have my lovely live interview with Katie Lovell which I will leave up above in case you missed it you can still go ahead and watch that so that is at 12 my time 7 her time so I'll be um, back out and then on the way back I will be listening to my audiobook um, yesterday I <laughs> showed you me at the gym I got done with what I had to do yesterday at like 7 38 ish um, and then drove through somewhere for a much needed coffee um, in case you're wondering I got an almond milk latte with um, just a bit of lavender I if you haven't tried lavender and coffee together really recommend it it's my like ultimate treat favorite thing um, and then I got back quickly went down to the gym which you saw listened to my audiobook but I am now exactly 50% of the way through where the grass is green and the girls are pretty and it's just it's just bliss and I like the fact that I didn't know what it was going to be about going into it um I just knew that I love Lauren Weisberger's books so that's great and then um I listened to a little bit more of that in the bath yes I had a bath and didn't show you I know what is the world coming to but I was so so tired so I'm really proud of myself for still going down to the gym last night um I did a slightly truncated version i just did my strength circuit and didn't do any cardio at the end but that is okay because after i'm done with my author interview today i will have lunch at home and then i'll be back out and i will be um going for a walk with a friend so hopefully the sky is clear right now i think it's warmed up so yes hopefully we should get some nice views coming down here just now um i was not listening to my audio book i was on a phone call but coming down here just now the um i think even the some of the front range was like snow capped and because it's super sunny and the snow was sh the sun was shining on it it looked ever so sparkly and nice so yes, apologies for not catching you up and then ending up talking to you in the car for nearly three minutes, but the reading is going well. I'm happy that I'm in the middle of three books. Um, it looks like I should finish, I should definitely finish um, Stories to Make You Smile today. I'm listening to those sparingly because I think they're a real treat and I should definitely finish Where the Grass is Green and the Girls Are Pretty today. And then hopefully if we have a last push, because I'm not going to the gym tonight, um, I may be able to finish um, The Getaway. Uh, I think I will probably do, I'll probably try and do the two, two I can't remember if it's two till 2.30 or 2.30 till three. If it's two till 2.30, I'll definitely do it. If it's 2.30 till three, it might not be as easy, but I could go and sit with a cup of coffee out and about and do it. So we shall see, I will keep you updated. We're now at three and a half minutes, so I'm gonna go and get on with my day. I did finish listening to Where the Grass is Green and the Girls are Pretty. Really enjoyed that one. Um, knew I was going to, didn't know what it was going to touch on, but really enjoyed it. I also finished listening to Stories to Make You Smile, um, which was a nice interlude. I like the fact that I've kind of spread that out over the past couple of days, which has been nice. And then I also finished, as I was hoping to, um, Getaway by Isabel Broom, which um, that last like 15, 20% was like drama, drama, drama. I felt really sorry for Kate and everything that she was going through. It, um, it tackles a lot about mental health kind of all the way through, but really goes in for it in that last 10%. Um, 
So going to put my review together for that. And whilst I was finishing listening, I started my cross stitching, which you'll have seen. But it's uh, just after midnight now, and so it's not a good idea for me to be like. Um, so I'm gonna go to bed, and I will check in with you in the morning during the 8 a.m. reading spring. Oh, what a busy day! And apparently, I got the sun. Oh my goodness, I did get the sun. <laughs> um, I have sunscreen with me, but it was dull, so I didn't see that coming. Um, however, I am still gonna put my hiking boots on because I imagine that it's still gonna be a little bit muddy here. I can't believe that. That's so funny. We'll need to even that out somehow. Ooh. Um, so I am going for a walk, second walk of the day at the same place as I was yesterday. I am probably just shy of halfway um, along in the woman in the window. She's annoying me a little bit. Um, I'm currently listening on 2.5 speed, so definitely going to make it happen today. However, because she's annoying me a little bit, I feel like I might speed it up. Unsure though. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and yeah, going for a walk. Been out and about in the car most of the day today. Um, just listening to this one audiobook. I'm just listening to one book. I'm reading one book at a time today. And then this evening, I'm taking myself to the cinema, going back to the IMAX for the first time. So that's exciting. I'm going to see the new like Saw spin off film. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll let you know. And by the time you watch this, my review of that might be up. So you're good. Those clouds do look slightly threatening. I'm going to be optimistic though. I'm going to just brave it out. missed like it just I, tell me in the comments if I'm right on this but the lighter evenings just make such a difference oh my goodness I've probably got the sun my coke exploded all over me in there so right down on my left hand side here is uh, still quite wet even though I opened the bottle during the trailers um it is possible that the best part about that film was seeing the IMAX trailer for Black Widow. Like that was a whole, a whole thing. Let's get some aircon on the go. After being in an air conditioned cinema, getting out and it's like, it's warm out here. This is awesome. I did just sanitize my hands on the way out as well. Um, it's interesting. It's gone from there being a sanitizer thing and a wipe thing outside every cinema as well as in the middle of the corridors to there's just a sanitizer and a wipe thing in the middle of the corridor um which means there's three because there's like three areas but mm. but yeah seeing the black widow trailer very excited about that um and now i'm off to pick up dinner which i ordered before going in yes listening to of course the woman in the window on the way which i listened to through all the trailers except for the Black Widow trailer, where I took my headphones off and gave it the respect that it deserves July 9th. Very excited. This is how it's going. And this is what I've stitched tonight. I've just stitched the word Ken. Uh, and I did the E slightly wrong, but I still think it looks fine. You can see it's meant to have the little tail bits on the left-hand side that the K and the N have. And I just, I didn't even notice until I got to the very end and I was like oh that's not quite right but yeah uh Ken stitch this for you <laughs> I need to work backwards and do the O and then the R and then the B working out from the middle so I did finish the woman in the window ready to watch the movie tomorrow um I don't get the hype I don't get all the fuss around this book did wash my hair after my coke exploded all over me. I washed everything, thoroughly scrubbed it. Um, so yeah, so in terms of my like actual TBR, it's it's going well, and we are 
five for four. So whilst I did watch my um, Battle Book Readathon video from this one last year, the May one, when we were still really quite locked down. I think I went and did just like a grocery store pickup. I didn't, I didn't, hadn't even like gone back inside or anything and the gym wasn't open and the pool wasn't open. And so I was just walking. Um, and so that readathon, I read 11 books. So don't think that's gonna happen. However, I am pleased that I've kind of read the books off my TBR. I switched the Jenny Lawson for the Lauren Wise book because both of those were anticipated May releases anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what else is left on my TBR. I've got my No Hiding in Boise, which is somewhere here. Um, but I figured I would start that tomorrow, probably during the 8 till 8.30 reading spring. If only it was just 8.30 till 9, it might be a little bit easier. Um, but I can, you can see my sunburn, like, peep, 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 it's not good. It's really not good. Did not realise. Um, yeah, I've got that left. And then I think I put Girl A on my TBR because it's returning to the library pretty soon. Um, so I think in terms of audiobook, I might listen to that. However, having listened to the very dark, I don't know, Woman in the Window and then watched Spiral, um, maybe feeling like something lighter. And I did just get approved for an audiobook on net galley that is possibly going to lead to an author interview on this channel so that might be the audiobook i start next but i really feel like listening to some non-fiction so i might grab a quick non-fiction i've got a few shorter non-fictions in my like library borrows across various <laughs> various different like library borrows um i also got Seth Rogen's new book on Penguin Random House review, audio, app, whatever it is. I'm making sense for quarter past midnight, I really am. Um, which I saw the actual book when I was in Target. Um, so there's that as a possible non-fiction audio, but we'll see. I'm gonna go to bed now. I'll catch up with you in the morning. I have been on the struggle bus this morning. The alarm did go off for me to do my um, 8 till 8.30 reading sprint. Um, and I just turned it off and went back to sleep. So now we have the coffee. The sunburn is looking better. Um, we have the coffee, but I woke up with just a really sore head, I think probably from staying up too late looking at the cross stitch, I don't know. Um, but I've taken an ibuprofen and had like just a little bit more sleep, so better now. I've just grabbed No Hiding in Boise, which I am quite pleased that I've got my um, YouTube reading sprints, which um, will have been up by the time you see this. However, because I do like the timed sprints, it's reading sprints you could use anytime. So if you want to go back and, and uh, read with me, I'll leave it linked up above or in the description box or the end screen or something. However, I think I'm going to take this and my lurid green muffin that stopped me in my tracks in King Supers and go and sit outside maybe, like a bit of fresh air might get me going. But whilst I was making my coffee, emptying the dishwasher and sharing my link, I've been listening to audiobook which is really nice. I'm listening to Letters on Motherhood by Giovanna Fletcher um, and she narrates it as well. So that's great, but I'm about to start this one. Um, I'm excited to jump in um, and I do need to, I've got my little bell bookmark on the back there. I do need to um, start actually writing some reviews. And I just realized actually, before I jump into that, I'm gonna post yesterday's update, <clears throat> which is basically just, didn't take part in any of the Twitter sprints, read this book. That's it. And then obviously tonight we'll be watching the movie of that book. So that's exciting. So thanks to those reading sprints, that one hour of sprinting that I have stood on YouTube, I'm now on page 117 of No Hiding in Boise, which is pretty good going. It's only just over 300 pages. So I'm nearly at the halfway point. 
my lipstick is starting to run. Um, but I have a coffee. I've got like another hour or so before lunch. So I'm going to read some more. It's really intriguing if you like character driven and you are okay with the mass shooting care warning um make sure you definitely pay attention to that then um this one is definitely for you it comes out on the 15th of june um but i will have a full written review on the blog for you right couple of things to update you on so i'll try and keep it brief um number one still absolutely loving no heidi and boise haven't read an awful lot more since my sprints earlier. I think I read a couple more chapters. However, I did listen to, I finished listening to Letters on Motherhood by Giovanna Fletcher. And then I started listening to the new um, Kamal Harrington that I have a um, review copy from NetGalley. So I started listening to that. So I was out and about this afternoon, popped to the supermarket to do some couponing. Um, and then also, watched The Woman in the Window on Netflix starring Amy Adams because it came out today and I'm going to film my book versus movie tomorrow. Probably would have filmed it tonight but um so uh yeah have thoughts on that um it will probably be the video that went up directly before this one I think it'll either be the one that went up directly before or the one that's going up directly after this one so either way I'll link it I'll link it in the end screen. I'll link it below. Um, so you can see my thoughts on that because I have a lot of them. I have notebook back in front. Um, then what else? Probably won't be doing any cross stitch tonight because I'm still quite tired when it comes to Friday, quite tired. However, I would like to pick this up and read some more of this because we're finding out some things. There's been some revelations. So we'll see what's going on. Um, I may hop on Twitter at 10 and run some reading sprints to kind of get me focused on that. Um, especially because I have the whiskey. I've had an Aperol spritz, I've had a beer and I've got the whiskey. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's Friday night. Why not? Um, and I've got my cozy reading background on. Um, so yeah. I think that kind of updates you on where we're at. Uh, finished another book, so we are six for five. And I'm hoping to finish this and Carmel Harrington. And then I would like to dive into Girl A because that was actually on my TBR. Carmel Harrington was not, Left Us on Motherhood was not. But I do have a couple of other shorter non-fictions. I have a Bryony Gordon, which I always love hers. And then I have a, a Jenny Eclair and both of those are around about the four to five hour mark. So that's possible. And then I did also get some graphic novels from the library. So if we are starting to flag a little bit at the weekend, it's the Twitter chat in the morning. And then I may hop on YouTube for some more reading sprints. However, I haven't got another well, I mean, I, I have some physical books here, but I haven't got another physical book that was on my TBR. <sighs> but I do have things I could pick up. I'm a bit, a bit torn. So um, I'm gonna get back into this and I will update you. I read 35 pages during that reading sprint, which is pretty good for a half hour reading sprint. Um, and there is half an hour until the Twitter chat. Always hard to say. So I'm gonna keep on reading. I do need to make another coffee. Right, it is time to finish this novel. Come outside for some fresh air because I'm tired today. I haven't done any more reading since I last spoke to you. We just went out for brunch and then I had a nap. I have some theories about how it's going to end and I also remembered that I got coffee yesterday that I didn't drink so I could have been drinking that this morning while I was making my coffee but we're going to drink this and the ending of this book is going to happen and it might thunder and lightning so very exciting it's just nicely fresh out here now it's rather lovely but it does feel like 
pressure, you know, you can feel it in your ears, you know. Oh my goodness, I've just looked at myself. <laughs> um, it's 2.15 and I could not stop listening to my audiobook and I was cross-stitching and now I've got like tingly fingers and a sore wrist and I'm very tired and there was at like, I'm at 82% in the audiobook, at 70% there was a massive revelation that totally took me knocked me for six took me by surprise i do have hair looks like i don't have any hair um and so i couldn't stop but now i'm like the stick tricks going wrong oh and yeah i'm losing <laughs> tickly tickly here and then this hand that's holding the phone is a little bit sore so uh, i'm gonna go to bed but i am at the point of finishing what is it okay i'm torn because i feel like if i put the sleep timer on well if i put the audio book on and lay down i may be able to finish it but if i put the sleep timer on and i fall asleep within like five minutes i've got the sleep timer on for 15 what if I miss another really important detail and kind of see something that might be about to happen? It's very good, it's very good. And I love the fact that we have these characters that sort of have to code switch with their words. They're from Ireland, living in New York. And so when they're back in Ireland, they have to switch to the Irish. And when they're back in New York, they have to switch to the American terms. So we have like, you know, your whole sidewalk pavement oh my goodness i can totally empathize and also be jealous of their green card lottery thing my life would be so much simpler if that happened to me so staying up listening to that audiobook last night definitely took its toll it's been a a bit of a struggle today, but I've had coffee, iced tea, Diet Coke, energy drink. We're fully caffeinated. And um, we went back to one of our favorite places to eat and they're in there. They were open for dining for the first time in forever. Um, it was great. It was just amazing being back there and then having the food that we've had via takeout. We've had quite a few takeouts from there. Um, over this time but just like having the food there and it'd be like so fresh i had like mozzarella ball soup and a like sort of their version of philly cheese with their potato salad and it was just was so nice um and that definitely lifted me up then i got a coffee from panera which was one of those if you've seen in previous vlogs it's basically just they filled the cup with like cream and water um so did not drink that unfortunately however i did finish listening to the audiobook that I was listening to yesterday that I cannot remember the title of it. I think it's Moon Over... I want to say Kilburn Key, but it's not that. It's... I'll check the title. Bear with me. And I've been continuing cross stitch, not in the dark for once, although it's very dark here today. Um, but we're just at the stage now where I need to do the B. Um, and I am making a video showing the whole process of this. But... Um, yeah, basically they didn't give me enough black thread in the pack, um, so uh, yeah, I had to go out and find some more black embroidery thread. So I found like an embroidery set at Dollar Tree, which has black thread in it. So we're going to open that up and finish the bee whilst listening to audiobook. But finishing that audiobook means that I hit my seven for seven, which is great. Or am I now eight for seven? Oh my goodness. This is why we don't stay up till 3am when we're in our 30s. Um, so I started listening to the new Jennifer Weiner. Thoughts so far, A, it's um, narrated by Sutton, is it Forster or Foster? I think it's Forster, Foster um, from Younger, uh, which I have been watching Younger recently. And Jennifer Weiner gets mentioned in Younger because it's set around publishers, um, which is very cool. And, um, so the fact that we've got that like little crossover link and then I'm there doing my cross stitch of a Jenny Lawson book title 
and there's this description of this um, uh, stuffed mouse thing. What's the word? Taxidermy mouse that looks exactly like the cover of one of Jenny Lawson's previous books. Again, can't remember any words. Don't ask me any words tonight. Um, and it's this description. And I'm like, oh, wow, everything's coming together. Also, this one's called Last Summer. And what was the one last year? This summer or summer, summer something. And the two, I think are linked together because um, one of the characters in this book is um, talking about the events from that book. So I'm really intrigued to see how it all like pans out, but loving the narration and loving the way it's going. And it's a multiple point of view, dual narrative type of thing. So I'm like, just really enjoying it. I love Jennifer Weiner and um, I'm glad that I was finally able to find it on script. So it's just coming up six o'clock now. We're gonna have some dinner. I've got the gym later. So plenty of audiobook time left. I don't know if there are literally enough hours left in the day to finish this audiobook, but I'm going to make a decent dent in it. And um, yeah, so I'll update you with the rest of the evening and then we'll we'll come back with final titles and numbers because I've just not got the capacity to tell you about them right now. So when I said earlier that I was listening to that summer and I didn't think there were enough hours left in the day to finish it. I've just checked. I've still got eight hours left in it, but I've been listening all afternoon. But I suppose I listened from like five and then we had dinner. So yeah, that's probably about right. But after this, I'm gonna go upstairs, get in the bath and listen until midnight. <sighs> got about five minutes left and I'll head upstairs and obviously I'm listening right now. Obviously. And that is a wrap on my bath and about to books. Listening continuously in the gym whilst running the bath, in the bath, etc. Sorting out my emails so I've got a nice clean sheet for the week. Um, allowed me to actually get to 75% of that summer, I think, listening till midnight. Um, so 70% works out as 324 pages since it's 432 pages. I really love the direction, Jennifer wine it is going in like her last book obviously was a book of two halves and got a lot darker um all fall down feels like the kind of turning point for me um i really i loved that book i would totally reread it um and then this yes i will have more thoughts once i'm finished i think i'll wait until i'm finished to film my outro but in case I forget to tell you exactly how many pages I read because I've, I've done my like wrap up post. I read 3,050 pages. I read eight and three quarter books. So I think that's quite impressive. I know that this time last year I read 11 books, but I feel like I want to go back and check how many pages that was cause I think it was probably around about the same number of pages. So we'll check that and then I'll go back to you. Okay, I just checked and I read 3,612 pages. However, we were technically still in like real lockdown. And like, I did quite a lot of stuff last week, including going to the cinema, which I absolutely did not do in Battle of Books last week, last, um, this time last year. Because yeah, May this time last year was still not the best. I don't think the gym was open. The pool wasn't open. The like coffee shops and stuff weren't open. It was, I was not dining out, whereas I have been to restaurants this week, um, even though I completely forgot to vlog any of that, um, which might have been of interest to you. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll do another vlog where I do actually show you some stuff that we're doing because as of today, uh, everything's back to 100%, no statewide, countywide mask mandate. It's up to individual businesses. So um, 
it's been it's been interesting i haven't been in any way yet that hasn't required masks um but i have been in places where it's been 100 percent capacity so uh yeah we'll see how that goes that's irrelevant to the vlog but um over to me to tell you exactly what i read so very quickly let's see what i read i read where the grass is green and the girls are pretty on audiobook for 368 pages this one just came out on tuesday here in the us and you know i love this one then for my book versus movie which i will leave linked in the end screen as well i read the woman in the window by aj finn for 429 pages and then the first ebook that i read for the week was the getaway by isabel broom which comes out in the uk on the 10th of june that was 400 pages and then an actual physical book to show you i read no hiding in boise which comes out on the 15th of june here in the us but you will be able to read a review on my blog very very soon with that's linked in the description box obviously this was 336 pages and then another one which i do have a physical copy of but i did listen to on audiobook um was diamonds are a girl's best friend by jenny colgan for 336 pages and now back to some more audiobooks because let's face it it's an audiobook life that i live um i listened to stories to make you smile which was a world book night freebie both the audiobook and the ebook are free normally it's just one or the other and this was 10 short stories that really do make you smile and that was 128 pages and then i listened to non-fiction letters on motherhood by giovanna fletcher which is also narrated by giovanna fletcher and this one was 329 pages and then the final book that i listened to all of was nope not that one <laughs> the moon over kilmore key which i may be interviewing this author here on the channel very soon so make sure you have your notifications turned on to be notified when i post about that upcoming interview um this one was so good and it comes out at 400 pages and then finally i listened to that summer by jennifer wino which i literally finished on the monday after the readathon continued to listen that day and listen to all of the rest of it um and i listened to 324 of the 432 pages of this book so final page counts i finished eight whole books and one part book i listened to probably about 75 percent of that summer so i did eight and three quarter books do you remember being eight and three quarters i so remember being eight and three quarters um i read 3050 pages overall and just had a great week and i'm really pleased that i made such a great start on all those books there's so many more books i wanted to get to as well but i did listen to everything except one that was on my tbr um and a couple of books snuck in there as they do i really hope you enjoyed watching my week with me or if you skipped ahead to the stats hearing what i read this week um as always if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up the next battle books readathon is coming up in august all the information you need will be in the description box below um i will be back with more bookish content for you very soon and more movie reviews at the weekend so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that and um yes as always thank you so much for watching